Let's see how to solve this equation. We have 23x in the parentheses raised to the x power, and that's equal to x to the power of 23x. And here, x is greater than 0. In fact, if you don't have this condition, then people will get into debate because they will say, is 0 a solution? But if you have x equal to 0, you will end up with 0 to the 0's power. Well, I will let you decide that. But anyway, you do have this condition. So let's see how we can proceed. Here, notice that we have x in the exponent, so perhaps our best bet is to take a logarithm on both sides. Right here, let me just write this down again, 23x raised to the x power, that is equal to x to the 23x. And it seems that we can use any kind of log. I'm just going to take our natural one, natural log, on both sides. So, right here we have ln of this to the x power, and we can put the power to the front. Likewise, we can do the same thing here. So we get x times ln of 23x. That is equal to 23x times ln of x. Okay, then what do we do? Notice now we have x times this, and then 23 times x times ln x x is greater than 0, so we know x is not equal to 0. Therefore, I'm just going to be dividing the x on both sides. And note, because x is greater than 0, therefore x is not equal to 0. So this is OK. So get rid of them. And we are looking at ln of 23x is equal to 23 ln x. Mm, what do we do next? Well, here, I think we can use the property of log again, right? Because this is just ln of 1x, ln of 23x. We can break it apart. If it's a multiplication inside, once we break it apart, it becomes ln of 23 plus ln x. And the reason that we want to do that is now you see we have ln of 1x just like this right here. So we can subtract ln x on both sides. This and that cancel. And we will just have ln23 is equal to 23 ln x minus this is like 1 ln x. So we end up with 22 ln x. And then we can divide the 22 on both sides. We'll just put it here. So we have ln23 over 22, that's equal to ln x. And then finally, we can just do e to this power and e to that power cancel. And we have x equals e to the ln23 over 22, which looks a little bit too complicated. I don't like that. So here, I'm going to use a law property, well, the rule of exponent first. This, I'm going to write it as e raised to the ln23 first, and then raise that to the 1 over 22. The reason we can do that is because this is like ln of 23 times 1 over 22, just like this. And we can look at this power first, and then that power. Once we have that, e and ln cancel. So in fact, x can be nicely written as 23 raised to the power of 1 over 22. I think it's really cool. and. I think if you took log base 23 on both sides, you can get to this step like much faster, but maybe sometimes we wouldn't be able to see that during the process. So that's why I took the natural log and yeah, just like this.